have this absolutely stunning spot. My momentary perch. And we continue along the edge of this beaver mess. Oh, so this is what sassafras looks like <laughs> when it changes color. Good heavens. Flamboyant little plant. Oh, oh. I'm impressed. Sassafras has a medicinal plant. History and it's said to be an ingredient in root beer. I used to chew the leaves, they're pretty cool. They also seem to be a little bit mucilaginous or whatever. It might work for making gumbo. Whoa! Sassafras outburst. And a little boardwalk. <laughs> I think someone's dismembering a tree in some way. This chainsaw has been roaring for a while. So look at that. Yikes. I'm overwhelmed, I tell you. And no sooner are we done with this momentary sassafras splash than it's berry time. Indication we're still in the Sounds like it 
not a kingfisher, maybe it's a red squirrel. <coughs> Taking the score, the scold ball and running with it. Your gauntlet of rodent scoldings. And it's a common thing you'll run into. Oh, there's a very startled chipmunk. No, it was a kingfisher. <laughs> nice. Well, this is an impressive rock. Surely of note. And right now, a rather perturbed chipmunk is wishing I will just go away. And so I shall. This way is our northward run all the way to Newbury, which isn't that far away, probably a day and a half. A solid day's walk if you are an experienced and robust hiker. <coughs> half a lifetime if you're a pudgy little slob. But uh, that's our way to Newburyport, and this is our way to Duxbury, deep in the heart of Andover. Preeminent Bay Circuit Town.